Backstage Artist Lounge at South Bay Southwest. I'm with the band Culture Cry Wolf right now. This is their new CD that you should get. And guys, why don't we go down and I would like you to all introduce the person to your left. Uh, this is Frankie on drums right here. This is Botsy, our MC. This is Drewby Soho, our bassist. This is Kyle, our trumpet player. And that's Mike D, the singer-songwriter. This guy over here. So what are you guys up to lately? Well, we got down here Wednesday night, so we've just been hanging out, watching great music, and we played a show Thursday and one just this afternoon, and we're playing at uh, Chuggin' Monkey tomorrow night around 11 o'clock. And where did you guys come from? Uh, we're from Minneapolis, Minnesota, so we've... Uh, we had a long drive down here, about 20 hours. Yep, it's quite a drive. Where, are you going to play any shows on the way home? No, we were going to, but we just elected to come down here and just get to it here and head back and, you know, get back to sit. So what do you do to make your band stand out from other bands? Be awesome. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we try to, to bring in a lot of different elements of different styles of music. Um, you know, we bring in like ska, reggae, hip hop, a lot of Latin music, um, and we just try to combine all those elements. Kyle plays the trumpet, and um, so it, yeah, just it, and we try to be fun too. A lot of you know, just to not be too serious. So people have fun we were, the show. We were, That's what they come to a show for a lot of times. We gotta yeah. remind people how to dance because people forget how to dance <laughs> often. We get to dance at your show. Damn right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely coming now. Yeah, Botsy's good at getting everybody dancing. That's, hey, his, that's his specialty. That's, that's my, my duty. Is oh, yeah? The Can you do it right now? Uh, you want me to do like a little little butt shake? Dance or like, dance. I'm just yeah. like right there. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, you got to do the, you know. <laughs> there you go. That's I believe you now. That's his move. It's very legit. <laughs> so these days, you know, a lot of bands are like touring and recording. So I think people are really interested in the story of a band. Like, what would you say is the story of Culture Cry Wolf? Jeez, I don't know. You want to hit this one, Bats? Is this is this the story? I think this is a story where uh, Mike Daly. I moved to Minneapolis, Minnesota, from Arizona, and uh, house party. We're a house party, yeah, and it. We, he was in a previous project. I had just moved there, and uh, he's like, "Man, I always wanted to start a, a group with a rapper." And I was like, "Dude, I always wanted to have a live band." And from there, we just kind of like devised what we wanted to sound like and, and hustled hard for like three or four years. We'll have, like most yeah. bands will adjust to the rapper and like it, we've stayed pretty firm with like it's my job to adjust to the music that they make because I feel like if they had to adjust to what I was you know the pocket of 80 BPMs and that soul beat or jazz infused then it wouldn't be what we do and we try and like switch it up all the time and make it yeah, creative. We, yeah we lay away from those things so um, but yeah he was open to it and, and uh Set it uh, to jam. Yeah, it's been about three years now. That's good. I like bands that challenge genre lines that the industry people like to draw and put people in little boxes. It, it's funny trying to tell people what we sound like because I have to list off about like five or six genres, and it's just like it depends what you're listening you're like, to. Like it's music. Yeah. Do you like good music? Yeah. <laughs> like the dance. That's what we make. Yep. Yeah. So, have there been any fun uh, recent pranks, anecdotes, crazy silly things that someone or another has done on tour? Well, uh, Usually Frankie's kind of a little prankster here. Yep. He's, oh, yeah. he's kind yep. of sneaky. It's time for confessions. What are you up to lately? Oh, God. I don't even want to say. <laughs> they might we, put we kicked out our uh, percussionist today over the text message as a joke. Yep. As a joke? Oh, as my a, God. As a joke. We told him to get packing, right? <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he couldn't be here. He, he broke his shoulder in Ecuador, and he, he does auxiliary percussion and stuff, so... He was asking how things were going, and, and, and Frankie basically <laughs> decided to kick him out of the band. Yep. <laughs> how did he take that? Well, he's pretty pissed. Yeah. Wait, have you let him know it's just a joke? Not yet. No. no. What? No. Nope. Why, don't, why don't you tell her what uh, record label you told her told him we signed to? Well, we told him we uh, signed a Wonder Brothers Records, which is Wonder Bread's new record label. <laughs> and... So he Googled it and could only find Warner Brothers and asked if we basically told him the wrong name. And we acted Dude. like he was crazy. Dude, what, what, Wonder... He Wonder, totally bought it, though. Totally that's, bought that's, it. That's totally Wonder cool. Brothers record label has the most bread you would ever imagine. And it's all about the bread. It's all and, about the and bread. And they have tons of dough to, to just... 
dish out to us. In, in <laughs> You're killing me. And and it goes good with cheese. I don't know. Yeah, yeah we yeah. got cheese. We got, got cheddar. Tons of cheddar. We got cheddar. <laughs> they just want to throw it our way. Thank you. That's the word we'll I was looking it. for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit about who you are and uh, hanging out with the Backstage Artist Lounge at South by Southwest 2012. Uh, absolutely. So happy South Buying. You know, at, and you. culturecrywolf.com, we're on the internet. Culturecrywolf.com. Cheer. And check it out. We are Backstage Artist Lounge, South by Southwest. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thanks.